Faced with a narrow sight and a generous 10 metre height limitation, owner Andrew Kolovos worked with architect Ron Sang to create a dramatic home with all the functionality a family might need. The main constraint was the site was a little narrow, so we realised from the beginning that we'd have to build vertically. Um, but one of the advantages was that we were able to build to 10 metres on the site, which is uh, fairly rare in, in, in the city. So we then decided that we should go and maximise the potential of the site by going to the full 10 metre height limit. And we worked backwards from the top down and we excavated the site to suit the four storeys. Because most building residential sites, you can't get four storeys. And so we were lucky able to do that. And this made it possible for us to put the master bedroom suite right on the top which had this beautiful panoramic view of the harbour. The house is a fairly open plan, but you don't see everything from, air, from, from one position. For example, the living and dining room is open. It also is open to the family room, but we don't actually have a door to shut you off. But it is definitely separate spaces, because I think each function has its own place. Like this is a family room, and this is very private from the more formal part of the house. But at the same time, if you had a party here, you could probably hold 100 people because they can flow in all directions. And this is how I generally design my houses. Open planning, but not totally open. And I try to keep different parts in different places, different vistas, so you don't see everything from one vantage point. The home incorporates the best of form and function. With practical living spaces combined with the use of a dramatic arch shape throughout the home's architectural detailings and fittings. The house really makes a statement um, and we've followed that theme through with the, with the vanities in the bathrooms and the, the kitchen bench, um, the, the square arch theme, uh, the clean lines, the big spaces. Um, that was the theme which we took right through the, the whole house. The strong arch form like this is, is a very stable form and we've used that inside the house. A lot of our fittings in the bathrooms and so on, we use that same form, a very strong, stable form. In this particular case, uh, the site is relatively small and I play with the use of water as a very, very important design feature. So I bring the water right up to the window so that you can see it from practically all the main living spaces. And I think uh, it adds another dimension to the house. You look out, you see this lovely pool. So, so I think in this case, it's very successful. One of my things is my interest in arts. In arts, I mean painting and ceramics. So when we design houses, we always make provision for that. I don't want the ceramics to be just plonked on the table. So we create little niches in various parts of the house where I need a bit of interest. And we have this in the front entrance, we have it in the living room and I think that it helps to add colour to the house. To match the impressive proportions of the home, the entrance features a 5.5 metre front door, a signature feature of the Ron Sang design. I always start off by having something dramatic at the entrance. This front door is about 5.5 metres, so it's pretty high. It takes in the whole of two storeys. And it's in keeping with the scale because the house is tall. If I had a standard front door there, it'd look totally wrong because it'll be just dwarfed by the mass of the house. I love the front door and it was always, right from the start, it was always going to be red. Um, I just think it makes a real statement. I think the entrance is important. Um, first impressions count um, and I just think that's kind of special. It's not something you see too often and uh, it always gives me a kick walking through that door every time. I'm not a minimalist. I don't do houses that are totally empty inside, which a lot of people do today. Uh, I like a house to feel warm and feel more human. And individual owners, they bring their own color into the house. Uh, an architect designs a house, but he makes provision for the individuals to, to put in their own feelings, because I don't want every house to look like my house. My house is my house, and your house is your house.